What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo here at the No Name Zoo where we are building kind of like a zoo of the Americas. We're doing South America, Central America, North American animals only. And for those who are just joining us, we're going to give you a little tour of the zoo. A kind of quick one actually. So here we have the uh, beginning courtyard. We've got the uh, exit to the subway there. Coming on through, we end up into like the main courtyard where the guests can get their drinks and their food, get some first aid, um, go to the information desk and whatnot. And then they're immediately greeted by the giant otter habitat. And we've got quite a few of these little guys swimming around and just being playful little otters which is awesome. Over to the right, we have Llama Hills, which includes Arachnia, which we'll go into a little bit later, but we're gonna come over here. We have another little like picnic area with some vending machines for the guests. And then we have our walk through Llama Habitat which the guests seem to thoroughly enjoy um, especially at the beginning got a couple little llamas swimming having themselves a nice little cool down which I think is really cool and I know one of them's pregnant so we're gonna have a baby llama soon but we gave them a nice little area to get away from the prying eye of the guests and uh, to have themselves asleep if they wish Coming back out over here, if we go this way, this is going to lead to our Central American, like, transition area. And this is all backstage area for the staff. So if we come into Arachnia, this is where we're going to see our first set of exhibit animals. So we've got the giant centipedes that are over in here. Um, I forget what all spiders we have but there's a spider in there there's spiders in there and there's spiders in this one as well and we also have a different look on the um, the otter habitat from arachnia so leaving arachnia if we go over to the right hand side we see this temple which you guys saw in the last episode and this is another exhibit animal type thing. Um, just something new. We got a different look at the otters from here from an elevated point of view. I did not do an underwater viewing area just because everybody's doing that. And yeah. Uh, but anyways, we've got the uh, golden poison frog somewhere hiding about. There's one there uh, in that exhibit. Over here we have the Lehman's Poison Frog, which are my favorite ones, and we can see him down there. There's another one right there, another one back there. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> um, over here we have the Titan Beetles, which these guys are always hard to find just because they uh, blend in so well, so we're not going to look for them. And then over here we have the Yellow Anacondas, which should be fairly easy to find. There's one right there. Uh, the guest was pointing back over here, but yeah, I don't know where the other one is. There it is, right there. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to introduce the Galapagos giant tortoise into this habitat here. We're going to build out this habitat um, for the most part, you know, there's still a lot of terraforming and stuff I've got to do around here, things that i got to figure out, but I want to get the habitat up and running. So in order to do that, we're going to come over here to the zoo. We're going to come over here to the animals. All three of them should be good in quarantine. Um, let's see, we don't need any babies running around just yet. Um, so we go ahead and... Get, uh, get them on birth control. And we're going to move them over into this habitat. And once we get some tortoises in here, we'll be able to figure out what they need. And once we know what they need, we can then build up 
our, uh, their actual habitat. So I'm going to cut over to a speed build and kind of walk you guys through what I'm doing as I'm building. All right, so I know kind of what they need. Um, and I, I'm doing a lot of thinking here as well, trying to figure out where I want to put the hard shelter, how I want it to look. And I'm looking at the, uh, if you look at the bottom where it says terrain uh, distribution, that's what I'm looking at right now. That's what I'm kind of working out is I want to make sure everything is in the green. <clears throat> So I'm adding a whole bunch of sand because we need a lot of sand for the Galapagos giant turtles. And uh, so I'm just kind of placing it all sorts of different places. Um, not really giving it a whole lot of thought about where I'm placing the sand. I just know I kind of want it in patches, but I want it all to be kind of connected at the same time. So I get that done, and I'm like, okay, well, now i got to build a hard shelter for them. Something. Um, but I'm also looking at enrichment items. <clears throat> so I'm just going through, and I'm putting a whole bunch of en enrichment items near the path. Because I want the guests, when they come through, to see the animals playing and basically just having a good bit of fun. And I also added a water trough and a feeding trough because the turtles, they don't tend to go very far very quickly. So I don't really trust them to go to the little pond that I created them, created for them to drink. So, uh, and then I discovered this, this uh, piece and I was like, okay, well, let's, let's utilize that. <laughs> We're going to put that thing somewhere. But here I'm really thinking about what I'm going to do for the hard shelter. And I thought, well, I've got that temple for um, the exhibits. What if I kind of move that theme over to the turtles and make their hard shelter the temple pieces? So as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. And it doesn't really have to be anything like symmetrical or geometric. It's supposed to be like the base of a temple that just kind of caved in. And we're repurposing what's left to create a shelter for the turtles. For them to go into, have themselves asleep. Just get away from the guests for a little while if that's what they want to do. Uh, and I made sure to angle it to where they wouldn't be seen from any part of the path. And here I'm like, okay, well, let's build them a roof because it is a shelter. So I just kind of cover it up uh, really haphazardly because why not? You know, we're, like I said, we're repurposing it, so it doesn't need to look great. But here I'm thinking, okay, well, we still should have some supports for this uh, grass-type roof, this grass and bamboo roof. So I used bamboo uh, poles as supports. And basically, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where does it make sense doesn't have to be all over the place but it should be where it would make sense to have it again we're not looking for ultra realistic type building it's a mixture of realism and just having fun which I think is what this game should really be all about is just enjoying it seeing what you can come up with with your builds seeing if they work if they don't work how you can make them better. Uh, you know, I 
I constantly revisit my builds to see what I can do to make it look better, either on the outside or the inside or both. And now I'm like, okay, well, we got to get the veg in. <clears throat> got to make this really rainforesty esque So uh, I set my filters to South and Central America and Tropical, which is what these turtles happen to like. And that's all I'm working with. That's it. I'm not going outside of that. I know some people do. Uh, and that's fine. Their builds look amazing. But again, I'm going towards that realistic but not realistic type thing. I want this whole section that I'm working on, uh, and the turtles are the last ones, I want all that to be really rainforest-like. So that's why I chose the filters the way I did. And it, it, it really does, guys. You're going to see it. Um, this really comes out looking pretty dang good. I'm quite happy with the end result. There are some things that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on where I'm like, yeah, mm, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, But what I'm really paying attention here is if you look at the top right where you see plants and coverage, I want to keep those in the green as well. I don't want them to have so much coverage that they're unhappy. But I want to try to max out the coverage uh, as well. So as you can see, I'm like really right there on the edge of it going outside of the green. Uh, but I keep looking at it going, man, I need to add more. I need to add more. I need to do something with all of this. Let's put some bushes and whatnot down by the base of the trees, which makes sense. You'd see that in real life. And now I'm just adding small bushes that won't make the uh, coverage too large. They don't have a huge effect on the coverage. Which is another nice little trick that you can use if you want to add more stuff, but stay within the uh, parameters of your habitat. And so now I'm like, well, you know, let's make it a little more realistic. Let's add some rocks because that's not a concrete pool. I want it to look more like a natural pool instead of one that was man-made. So I'm adding the uh, dynamic mossy rocks to this, which basically keeps the uh, moss on the top sides of the rock and a little bit on the, uh, the other sides as well. But I really do like the way that dynamic rock, the dynamic mossy rocks work. Um, the way they work, the way they look. And, you know, I just... I'm just filling in that gap, making it to where it could be man-made, but it could also be natural. It's up for the viewer to decide what they think. And there is, I mean, uh, there is some thought into how I'm putting these rocks. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just randomly picking stuff and seeing where they'll fit and how they'll fit and adjusting where they go. And I think that's uh, kind of important. Uh, for me, it's important. I like to be fluid in my builds. You guys know that. You've heard it over and over again. But that uh, you're seeing it in practice. You know, it's just, okay, well, how will this one look? Can I use it? Yeah, I can use it. Does it look good there? Kind of. Let's change it up a little bit. Rotate it. Whatever. And it came out looking really, really good. And as I often do, I'm just panning around and I'm thinking, okay, well, what's next? What should I do next? And here I'm thinking, okay, well, I wanted a waterfall here. So how am I going to create a waterfall effect? And I screw around with this quite a bit, and you guys will see later on that I actually get rid of it entirely. 
it just doesn't look the way I wanted it to and I was really struggling to get it to look the way that I had envisioned so I just instead of getting frustrated I left it alone and I and I and I'm telling myself okay you know we can come back and revisit it another time and see if we can't get it to work the way I want it to and if I can then great if I can't then you know oh well I do have a plan B and you're gonna see that uh, later on here in the video really shortly actually but you know I'm, I'm trying to figure out how am I gonna do this and I kind of work with some of the pieces and I I like it but I don't like it will it pass sure it would pass but I'm not happy with it <laughs> so uh, and that's what you know what this game's all about guys is you have to be happy with your own build to hell with what anybody else thinks <laughs> um, if you're happy with it then great if you're not then you need to do something to make it to where you're happy with what you've accomplished with what you've done and I do really want to stress that in my videos is these bills they're for you guys they really are yeah some guys like me will go through and we'll check them out but in the long run if you're happy with your build keep rocking it but anyways guys I'm gonna cut back to real time here and we'll go from there alright so uh, yeah put in a quite a bit of work got some more like finishing details to do for our Galapagos giant turtles but as you guys can see, I went through and I put a top on this fencing just because I didn't like how open the top was. And I added some custom fencing around uh, the border where the guests would actually walk. Added in a staff gate as well. Threw in quite a bit of vegetation. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw in the uh, speed build, uh, the tortoises were able to escape via this route here where these rocks are. So I put the rocks there to make sure that they couldn't escape that way. Um, they're also very nervous. Um, they're not happy right now because the guests can see them everywhere. And that's partially due because they didn't have enough places to hide. But it's also due because it's a new habitat, so all the guests are coming in to see them. And what will end up happening is as we build up the zoo, less and less guests will come in to see them. So that they won't be as stressed out. Plus, I added a little hidey hole down here away from the prying eyes of the guests. And I added another one over here that they can walk underneath and uh, just kind of chill out for a little bit. Uh, went ahead and built up the staff area. Um, I just made it blend into the scenery a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, I added the hills around. That way the guests don't see the outside biome. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the rest of this. I'm going to put trees and stuff like that up there just to uh, give it that jungle feel. Uh, another thing I did was I got rid of the waterfall. Uh, it just, I couldn't get it to look the way that I wanted it to look. So I scrapped the idea for now. I'm probably going to come back to it at some point in time. But as of right now, I just didn't want to waste any more time on it. I was getting frustrated, and I was like, okay, I recognize that I'm getting frustrated. Let's put that project on hold. And uh, so I got rid of it, roughened up the rocks a little bit, and honestly, I kind of like the way it looks right now. I don't know if I'm going to add the waterfall to it or not. Um, based on how it looks, I may just keep it just like that. Um, I do plan on adding like maybe some support beams in here just to give it that realistic feel though it's not necessary um, but yeah that's pretty much all I've done was really build this area up to be a little bit more realistic added some boulders here that way the guests won't see our crime here 
Uh, you know, I always say hide your crimes, <laughs> so that's what I did there. The only thing that I really have left to do uh, to complete this habitat is to put in some education boards, which I'm going to do off camera. I haven't decided how I want to do it. I, I don't want to just throw up an education board undecorated and call it good. Not my style. Uh, I just haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet, so that's why they're not up there yet. I'm going to throw in some benches. Uh, some trash cans, obviously, because we have uh, food and drink and stuff like that all over the place. But, um, yeah, that, that stuff is going to be the, the minor details. The, the detail work is what I'm going to do off camera. But it's functional. Right now, it's functional. The guests can walk through it. The animals are there. We're good to go there. So, in the next episode, we are going to start working on the uh, Central America, North America transi transition section, which is going to be back up in here. And uh, I don't know how much I'm going to do with that before I bring you guys in, but I am going to keep the same uh, like theme for these videos. I'm going to bring you guys in for all the major animals when we do an exhibit building. Uh, like this one and like Arachnia. Uh, I'll bring you in for that as well. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm curious to hear your ideas. Uh, again, I'm still looking for a name for the zoo. Uh, we may keep it No Name Zoo, but uh, um, I would love to give it an actual name because I do want to put something in here or maybe even over here like something above that shows that hey this is the name of the zoo um yeah I'm also looking for a name for this temple with the uh, frogs the beetle and the uh, anacondas so that and oh uh, I'm also looking for a name for this area of the zoo as well kinda like how we have llama hills for this area I would like to come up with something for this area. So put your suggestions in the comment section below, guys. Uh, I really do appreciate any suggestions that I get. Uh, I may or may not use them. But if it's something I really like, I definitely will use it. So, uh, yeah. We're going to leave it at that, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.